Welcome to The Long Run, I'm Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. What are we doing today? Today we are gonna be talking about seven different frugal pieces of advice that we never give, and we're gonna tell you why. Um, just as a note, we are not in any way saying that any of these seven pieces of advice are necessarily bad pieces of advice, but just that under our circumstances, they would not feel authentic for us to be telling you that. Yep. And so we're going to get into these seven pieces of advice and explain why that is. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, so number one is rice and beans or meatless Monday. Now, we've never, not that it's a bad thing for anybody. If you want to go meatless on Monday, that's great. Uh, that's good for you. Um, rice and beans, meatless Monday. I, I For me, um, I don't know that. I mean, I probably could do rice and beans on a meatless Monday. I uh, just don't really have a desire to, uh, and that's kind of why we don't we don't give that advice. I mean, I eat chicken every day, so yeah. um, we also budget for it in our grocery budget. Yes, we also so budget for it in our grocery yeah. budget. So, yeah. um, so that's why we don't give that advice. Not that it's bad advice. Please do it and let us know in the comments if you're doing it, how it's working out for you. We'd love to hear that. Uh, but we just don't give that. We just don't give that advice out. Because we don't do it. Correct. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Two, uh, don't buy coffee out or don't eat out. Hmm. Now, if you followed us for a while, you know that Joel works for a certain chicken restaurant. Yep. Uh, working in the restaurant industry is something that he loves to do. But let's be honest, it would be really weird for us to tell you not to eat out since we basically live off the idea that people will eat out. Yep. It, it'd be like if you worked in a grocery store and you told everybody to uh, grow all their food at home and don't come to the grocery store to buy food. <laughs> it would be weird, right? <laughs> So it's the same thing with us. We don't say that for that reason. Instead, we look at it as, a, as an opportunity for us to give back to our community who also give to his business by going there. We get the opportunity to return that favor by going to those restaurants and coffee shops. We don't, we don't go crazy with it. We have a budget for it and we stay within our budget. Now, um, if you are in a financial situation right now where you're struggling to pay your bills, then you probably should eat at home. Mm -hmm. But if you have gotten to that point in your life where you're past debt and you're now debt free and you're able to stand, you know, and do uh, able to continue saving for the future and paying all your bills and that you have left now that you're debt free and stuff and you want to eat out and you put it in your budget, that's good. You're good to go. And because we use YNAB, YNAB teaches you to budget for what's important. And so that's one of the things that we budget for. We budget so that we can eat out every once in a while. Yep. Uh, number three is only shop local. And by local, I mean um, mom and pop stores, uh, small grocery stores, you know, locally owned stuff. Um, and we don't give that advice out mainly because number one, like she said, I work in a chicken restaurant that is locally owned and operated. Uh, it's a chain restaurant, but it's also locally owned and operated by a local operator who lives in this, who lives in this area, grew up in this area and is invested in this area. And so and we hire a lot of people that live in this area, which most of the stores do. Uh, so if you're, if you're saying don't shop, don't shop any of the big box stores, only shop local because, um, because because they may go out of business if you do that. Well, think about the people that are employed uh, in your local Walmart, your local Target, or your local uh, whatever it is, um, uh, your local chicken restaurant or your hamburger chain restaurant or whatever. Uh, just think about the local people that are working in those areas as well. Uh, they also they're also depending upon people coming and spending their money in those places uh, to keep their jobs because if their revenue doesn't stay up, they have to cut. And who are they going to cut? They're going to cut the people that are there local. Right. Uh, and um, might be your next door just, neighbor. Maybe your next door neighbor. You never know. So that's why mm -hmm. we never give that advice. Not that it's bad advice. We just never give it for that reason. All right. The fourth one is if you want to save money, you have to shop at Aldi. <laughs> now, I know Aldi has great prices. Don't, you know, hear me out. Uh, Aldi is only located in 39 states. And yes, we do have one in our area, but we don't say the best way to save money is for you to shop at Aldi. 
because you may not have an Aldi in your area and that would not be good advice. That would not help you if all I gave you was a store that you had to drive an hour or two hours or lot further to get to. So instead, what we like to do, instead of giving you a specific store, is to tell you how you can save money in whatever store you're in. Because if you learn how to price compare, you learn about unit costs, you buy, you look at generic and you figure out that generic is the lowest price. If you decide if bulk is the best price in your area, those are the things that are really gonna save you money not focusing only on one store. Yep. Uh, number five is shop at thrift stores. Uh, now we have shopped at thrift stores before and yep. we do, yep. um, but we don't normally give that advice out. And so one of the reasons we, we, we don't give this advice is that um, you, if you're going to do that, not saying you shouldn't, but if you're going to do that, make sure you're doing your homework. Uh, make sure that you're getting good quality uh, items from from thrift stores and even uh, discount stores like um, uh, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Tree Family and Dollars. Family Dollar, things like that. Uh, make sure you're getting the best value for your money. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done some studies and we've done some um, things in, th that have shown that some of the things at Dollar Tree are more expensive by per ounce than it is if you would buy it at Walmart. So mm -hmm. make sure you're getting the best quality and the best. Uh, the the best value for the money that you're going to spend uh, mm -hmm. in those places. So make sure you're doing your homework. Yeah. And as far as like thrift stores with electronics and things like that, you want to be careful. Some of those may not work very long. Also, if, um, and so buying the actual new thing that is, you know, like you maybe did some research and found a, a coupon for or something like that may last you longer than buying it second hand at a thrift store. So electronics in particular, you want to be careful with those. Also, if it's clothing and stuff, make sure that you are first making sure it's some a piece of clothing that really has a good value mm -hmm. to it. Because like we went rec recently to our local thrift store and we found some Walmart clothes that were like being priced at $5.99 or $6.99. That is not a good value for, for time and true clothing from Walmart because a lot of that stuff is running about $10, 12 $13 brand new. Mm -hmm. And to almost pay half of that, like for something that people have actually worn and probably probably is getting threadbare, is not a good idea. So um, make sure it's a piece of clothing that's really good quality and check it and make sure there's no threadbares or anything that's like, no peeling on it like i saw a lot of peeling on the time and true walmart stuff that was sitting there and it was 5.99 so make sure the clothing is good quality make sure the electronics are actually going to last you don't want to buy it and six months be buying it look searching again for something else so it's not that thrift stores are a bad idea it's just that you have to really make sure that you're getting something with a good quality or you might end up wasting your money where if you'd have just bought it at a discount from from a a store that's selling it normally full price, you got a brand new thing that would last you several years. So it's how long will it last you into the future that has to be taken into account with buying things from th the thrift stores. Yep. Six is don't use credit cards. Now, if you are if you know yourself and you know that if you have a credit card, you'll swipe that card without ever thinking about it, then maybe you do need to go with cash. Mm -hmm. But we have never been that way. We have always felt comfortable with using credit cards. We spend them, uh, use them for rewards, and we pay them off in full every month. And so that's really where um, you have to have uh, make sure that you know yourself. It takes knowing who you are as a person. Uh, you know, some people, when they see those reward possibilities, they start spending the card on things that they weren't even planning on buying just so that they could get rewards points and then not paying it off in full. That's a mistake. But if you know that you're the kind of person who can say, okay, well, if I use this credit card, I'm only going to use it for these few things. Make your list of things that you're willing to use your credit card for that are things that you always have to buy or pay for like if you can pay bills or anything like that with it and get the rewards off of it and make sure you're paying it back in full every month so that you never carry a balance 
then we don't have a problem with it. But we know that that's not normally a frugal tip is to use credit cards. So that's why we don't mention it is because we know that we still do. Yep. And then number seven is uh, financial gurus. Um, we don't really subscribe to any particular financial guru. There's a lot of uh, good things coming out from, from a lot of them. And so we pick and choose what we want to do. Uh, it's kind of a, kind of a um, um, mixed salad kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, if we that, find good tips and we pull them from whoever we pull them from. so. And that was partly because when we started our debt-free journey, we didn't like research specific financial gurus or money coaches or anything like that. We just watched YouTube videos and got motivation and inspiration. Yep. And we just picked from and chose from different ones. But because we haven't ever specifically followed one in particular, we don't say names and we don't say, hey, you should. Yep. Um, you might see in some of our, our uh, hashtags for like our channel or our social media posts, some of the ones that might be connected to Dave Ramsey. And honestly, the reason why I use those there is because they're the most searchable terms that people recognize in the debt-free community. It's not because I'm saying that you should follow him, but because I know that people might look up Baby Step 3, and so then maybe they might find our channel. Yep. It's not because we're saying you should follow his Baby Steps or anyone else's, because we're not, we're not, particular point particularly advising you to pick a specific one you have to figure out which one is best for you and what you like they all are different and they all speak to you in a different way and because we have just picked and chose what we liked about each one and said oh that's good and that's good and then over here that's good i love mm -hmm. that one you know we didn't go oh if i if i like this piece of advice they give. I have to follow all the advice that they give. Mm -hmm. No, we, we just pick and choose. Yep. So, you know, if you want to do that or if you want to pick one, that's great. But you have to figure out which one you like. That's right. So let us know in the comments below if there are any common frugal tips that you hear that you never give or follow and why. Tell us that in the comments below. We'd love mm -hmm. to hear that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if you would like to see some frugal tips that we really do share, uh, then you might want to see this video right here that we're going to we're going to put it right here and you can click it yep. as soon as we say the things we always say. That's going to do it today for the long run. I'm Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.